Meghan Markle, ex-husband's ruthless ambition dilemma exposed. Meghan Markle was married to rising star Trevor Engelson for two years before they divorced in 2013, but the driven Hollywood talent agent and producer let his ruthless ambition get in the way of his career. The Duchess of Sussex met Trevor in 2004 when the 28-year-old was already running his own production company, Underground. Meghan, 23, was a young, struggling actress, only able to secure very small roles in a few films and TV shows. The pair married in September 2011 in Jamaica, before separating just 18 months later. They were granted a no-fault divorce in August 2013 citing irreconcilable differences and both went on to remarry, Meghan to Prince Harry and Trevor to dietitian Tracy Curland. By the time he met Meghan, Trevor was well on his way to the career he enjoys today, but at one point it looked like he may have wrecked it for himself. In 2018 book Meghan, a Hollywood princess, royal biographer Andrew Morton described Trevor as passionate, driven and ambitious all qualities that first attracted Meghan to the New Yorker. However, it was reportedly his ambition that nearly put a halt on his career when he went a step too far. When Trevor first decided he wanted to produce films, he was advised by Alan Reich, who he worked with on Deep Blue Sea, to work as a talent agent first. Mr. Reich wangled him a job at the company Endeavor, where he started at the bottom of ladder delivering scripts. However, Trevor was personable and eager and soon worked his way up to being the assistant to the motion picture literary agent Chris Donnelly. Mr. Morton wrote, he was on the fast track to higher things, then his ruthless ambition got in the way. One time when Mr. Donnelly was on holiday, Dever sent out uncommissioned scripts to actors and directors under the Endeavor letterhead. He thought he was being a self-starter, he later admitted, but Mr. Donnelly did not agree. Trevor was sacked for overstepping his remit, although there were apparently no hard feelings between the two of them. However, it was arguably this sacking that led to Trevor's later career, as he then went to work as an assistant to Nick Osborne at Oz Films. After a few years, the pair of them splintered off to form their own production company, Underground, which Trevor ran himself from 2011. They worked on multiple films together including the 2010 coming-of-age movie Remember Me, starring Robert Pattinson, and the 2007 romantic comedy License to Wed, starring Robin Williams and Mandy Moore. More recently, in 2018, Trevor looked set to star in a production called Harry and Meghan, A Winter Wedding, playing himself. However, it is not clear exactly what happened with the project. Trevor has been relatively tight-lipped about his ex-wife Meghan, something she must surely appreciate, given how she has spoken out against press intrusion. Other people from Meghan's past have been much more eager to speak to the press, including her half-sister Samantha Markle and her father Thomas Markle. In October, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced that Meghan was suing Associated Newspapers, the publisher of the Daily Mail and the Mail on Sunday for publishing a letter she wrote to her father. Mr. Markle himself is open to the idea of standing as a witness, which might end up being the only way for him to see his daughter, as he has had no contact since that letter in 2018. Ahead of the court case, the defense has produced a dossier of evidence produced by Mr. Markle including previously unseen text messages between Meghan, Harry and Meghan's father. The messages allegedly show Mr. Markle telling his daughter he will not make her wedding, because he had to undergo emergency heart surgery and was told not to fly by doctors. He reportedly received a text that appeared to be from Prince Harry that admonished Mr. Markle for his actions in the lead-up to the wedding, accusing him of causing hurt to Meghan. Mr. Markle said it left him deeply hurt, and that he replied, I've done nothing to hurt you, Meghan or anyone else. Ironically. If this case goes to court, Meghan will likely have to cope with far greater intrusion into her privacy than the publication of the original letter.